That's a great question to end things. Uh, you know, I, I talked a little bit about what I did. I answered your questions, gave you a little background on me, a little message about doing the right thing, because in the end, that's what's most important. We'll get to your question in a second. That's what we're going to get together. We had some fun. There's no doubt they all heard about prospects. No question about that. I love being here. Your questions were great. Your attention was great. But the one thing we didn't talk about is how do you play our game? Oh, how do you play hockey? All right. We have nets like this, but they're much bigger. They're four feet high and they're six feet wide. And there's one. There's one at one end of the ice. And there's one at the other end. I told you we play on a 200 foot long surface. Each team has a goalie that defends that goal and tries to prevent the other team from scoring into it. You can have five skaters for your team on the ice at any one time. Five against five. But because, again, it's a very quick game, you have to be in good shape and you can only exert your energy for so long in our sport, we have players on our benches that are allowed to replace you. But you can only have five skaters and one goalie on the ice representing your team at any one time. That puck that I talked about earlier is what everyone wants to have a piece of because that's the only way you can score a goal. It's by taking that puck and trying to score it in that goal that the other team is defending. At the end of the night, Play three periods, as I mentioned, 20 minutes each, a total of 60 minutes. At the end of the night, the team that scores the most goals wins. It is not a very high scoring game. 3 2, 4 1. You know, you will get occasionally a high scoring game, six or seven goals. Not often. They're generally low scoring games. It's a very physical. If I have the puck, I have a stick, I'm skating. Okay? And I'm going to keep it away from you because I want to score a goal here might not be that easy to get the puck away from it. We have boundaries along the outside of the ice, boards, and then some glass so that the spectators can see through and see what's going on in the ice. So if I'm skating, and I'm trying to, let's say I had a goal over here, you can come at me and angle me, force me, kind of speed down these boards here. Have imagination, you have boards here, and then it's a plexiglass so the fans can see. And I can hit you into the boards. Legally, with a shoulder, with my arm. I can't do it if you don't have that puck. But I'm allowed to check you. That's what we call it in our sport. And if somebody big and strong skating at me, I don't care how strong I am. If I'm coming down, I get hit. I'm going to stop. And that puck, because it's frozen, it's going to slide along the ice. And somebody else is going to get a chance to pick it up. Hopefully, my, you know, if I'm trying to score, hopefully it's somebody on my team. We keep going. It's on the other team, they're going to come back this way. So it's a physical game. You're allowed to hit each other, but it's not from behind, not with anything other than a shoulder or where you can't hit with an elbow. Can't hold them, can't grab them, can't hit them with that stick.